Hey folks, welcome back to Psychopath Marketing. My name is Brandon. I am the psychopath in charge. Uh, just a quick uh, you know, message. I'm sorry that I haven't been uh, doing these videos. Um, time got away from me. I've been partnering with uh, with another company and I've been working on my own things. Um, you know, deals have come first, but from here on out, I'm going to be taking this channel very seriously. Um, you know, I've gotten emails, I've gotten calls, um, I've even gotten contacted on Facebook and asked why I haven't done any videos. So, um, anyway, this one is going to be on JVs. Um, I got a call actually today about uh, JV, how it works, the joint venture is what it stands for. Um, basically, when you get a property under contract, uh, you don't have a buyer and you're looking um, you know to work with someone that's got a buyer already another wholesaler <clears throat> um, well you're bringing the deal to the table and they're going to bring a buyer so a lot of the time I come across um, these situations where you know they didn't allow the the leeway in the in the price the asking price uh, for you know to share the to, to share the amount so what will happen is they go and they say well add your fee on top of this but the problem is that when you do it that way what you end up with is uh, two different numbers all right two different asking prices and they're being posted on social media and you know across the internet and what happens is buyers do their due diligence all right and when a buyer does a search and finds out that there's two different prices well guess what they're going to contact the person with the lower price and find out why it's a lower price why what's with the different prices so it's best to not do it that way um, unless of course the buyers you know elderly doesn't touch a computer then they're going to find out all right now the correct way to do a JV is to have some meat on the bone where you can play with that assignment fee, all right? And you can basically uh, get everything here. Um, in this, here's an example agreement. This is uh, my joint venture agreement. You see, it's branded with my company. Um, and basically, it's a you fill out the the blanks. You know, data contract. Um, the company that's providing the buyer, the company that needs the buyer. Um, basically, you fill in the house address right there, put the date that this contract expires, and usually the JV uh, contract should, you know, match with the uh, termination date on the contract that you have with the seller. Uh, it's the best way to do it. I mean, you can, you know, if you're in a hurry, you want to limit the JV partner, that's fine, but it's probably just going to piss somebody off because they're probably going to end up bringing a buyer at the last minute and then you're cutting them out. So probably not a good idea for your reputation. Anyway, just like I said, you fill out the obvious, uh, you know, blanks with the right information there. And see, what I do is I do 50%. The reason why I do that is because it's fair for everyone. You're promoting the same price, the same asking price online, so there's no confusion. Uh, and no matter what, you know, you bring that buyer, you're getting your 50%. So that's what I do. Um, and it's just, it's the proper way to do things. Uh, you'll notice there's certain things in this, this JV agreement um, that protect you. There's your obligations, uh, the profits right there, term, all that good stuff. And then you go down here uh, and you got, you know, how much earnest money deposit they expect. Um, and it's pretty simple. You sign it. Um, I use uh, DocuSign. It's easiest. It's quick. Um, and basically, uh, you can get a copy of this joint venture agreement on uh, my real estate wholesaling group on Facebook it's wholesaling houses full-time uh, there's a couple of them so mine is the one that says facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash wholesaling houses full-time 
uh, and I'm going to leave a link for this in the co in the uh, description below so you can head on over there um, and you could find the file under files go to files oh and I don't know if you heard my phone there but uh, it should be quiet anyway go in here files I've got all these different documents ready for you um, I am not an attorney use them at your own risk anyway here's the JV agreement right there it's the same one I showed you except it's got uh, none of my branding on it so you just fill it out it's pretty simple so anyway do your JVs this way uh, whether you're the you're the wholesaler with the contract looking for a buyer or if you're you know on the other side of the table this this uh, agreement will work either way it's not exclusive that way if somebody uh, does not bring the buyer and you end up bringing the buyer you're gonna get paid hundred percent um, you know it's fair for everyone so anyway do it the right way and let's not tick anybody off all right and I look forward to the next episode, which will be very shortly. Thank you.